this video, I trapped Jurgen Klopp, Pep Guardiola and Mikel Arteta in the sixth tier of English football to see who would achieve the most in 50 years. Jurgen Klopp has become the manager of Welling United in National League South. Pep Guardiola has become the Bath City manager also in the Vanarama National League South. And Mikel Arteta is the only manager in the Vanarama National League North with Curzon Ashton. All of these teams are predicted mid-table to try and make it as fair as possible in their first season. But from there, the shackles are off and we will see just who is the better manager. People say Pep can't do it and a team without money, we're about to find out. And after the first season, this is how the National League North looks with Mikel Arteta's men, Curzon Ashton, finishing in 13th. They were predicted 15th, so it's not really a poor season. They did sign a lot of players. Obviously, it is the sixth tier. They're all going to be free transfers for the majority. But he did change the team quite a lot. Maybe next year a title push. And in the South... Pep Guardiola is cooking. They didn't get promoted, but they did finish in third. They were predicted 14th, so that is an excellent season under the Spaniard. They did, hey, look, hey, look at that. Transfer fees, 6.25k, all coming in loan fees, but you compare that to Arteta, he's already spending way too much money. It's unacceptable. And as we go down a little bit further down the table, Welling, under Jurgen Klopp's management, sit in 18th. He also spent more than Arteta, not as much as Pep Guardiola, but spent a decent amount. But look how many outgoings. He got rid of the whole team. But that's the first season done. Pep Guardiola doing the best, but no one has achieved promotion yet. And we're just going to be simming through seasons very quickly. Obviously, there's 50 years to do. And we'll talk about anything interesting that happens. If any of these guys make the Premier League for even one season, I would be utterly shocked. I don't expect them to do anything. Maybe the odd promotion. And after only the second season, things are starting to happen as Welling finished in third, five points off the top under Jurgen Klopp with Bath City finishing in seventh, obviously Pep Guardiola's club. But unfortunately for Pep Guardiola's men, they lost in a penalty shootout to Maidstone, so they didn't make it from the playoffs. But Welling did win in the semi-final of the playoffs against Maidstone, so they would have had to play each other if Pep Guardiola's men made it through. But unfortunately, lost in the playoff final to Dagman and Redbridge, I do believe. 2-0 in the final, so they don't get promoted. And would you believe it, Mikel Arteta's men had a very similar story, this time 10 points off the top. But they actually made it to the final just like... Jurgen Klopp, but again, they lost, and this time they lost on penalties. So we had two clubs make it to a playoff final, one other club, which was Pep Guardiola's men, who made it to the playoffs. So they're all making progress. Hopefully next year they may win the league. Well, 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 it's only taken three seasons for not one, but two of the managers, Pep Guardiola and Jurgen Klopp, to win promotion. Bath City win the league, while Jurgen Klopp's men win the playoff final, beating Weldstone 1-0. And now we have two clubs in the National League. Unfortunately, Arteta could not do the same, finishing in ninth. Falling from a fourth place finish last season. Arteta is already falling behind. And for their first season in the Vanarama National League, Pep Guardiola's men survive comfortably by nine points. But Jurgen Klopp's Welling was not so lucky as they get relegated back to the Vanarama National League South. And unfortunately, this is unbelievable. Arteta's men tied and missed out on goal difference to win the league. And to add further heartbreak, lost on penalties in the final. So as it stands, Pep Guardiola is the only manager who is in the National League. Well, it has taken a very long while. We're in 2035 before something major happened and something major did with Bath City getting promoted to Skybet League 2 after winning the Vanarama National League comfortably by 11 points. Now, since their promotion, they have not been relegated once, with Pep Guardiola continuously keeping them up. They did hit sixth once and then went back down, but now they are champions and they will be in the fourth tier. Finally, someone does something because God's sake, Arteta and Jurgen mugs. Absolute mugs. Arteta's men finish 14th. And they've just finished there constantly. They hit second nearly eight years ago. Sixth, 15th, 12th, 7th, 12th, 18th. Nearly got relegated. And then 14th. It has just been mid-table supremacy. It's been disgraceful.
And Jurgen Klopp had a good finish this year, finishing sixth, but obviously losing in the playoffs. But his form hasn't been that great since the relegation. They nearly got promoted, finishing second five, six years ago. But since then, eighth, 15th, 11th, and 9th. It looks like Pep is cooking. I mean, people want to say Pep can't do it without money. But I'm seeing something different here. Champions, and hopefully they can stay up next season and continue their growth as they now have become a professional club, the first club out of the three to become professional. Obviously, they were semi-professional to start with, all of them. Finally, they became professional. So hopefully they can stay up and maybe, for God's sake, one of these bastards down here in the Van Rama North and South, Jürgen and Mikel, can bloody get promoted. It would be great. To be fair, these two leagues are very difficult to get promoted from. Obviously, you only ha you have to be champion or win the playoffs, which is difficult. And it's the same for the national. So it's not exactly easy to get promoted. Once you get into League 2, obviously, there's a lot more promotion places. You can go up the leagues much easier. But at the end of the day, Pep Guardiola's won two leagues and he's got two promotions. And he's done it all without spending a dime. Zero pounds spent. Can you believe it? Hold your bloody horses. There's something new I haven't noticed. He's won a cup. Can you believe it? Bath City haven't just won the league. They've done the double. They've won the FA Trophy. Oh, my God. 3-1 winners in the final against Maidstone. And Pep Guardiola's cooking. And he's had no money to spend. I believe the myth of Pep Guardiola struggling without money is proving false. And I have bad news. Guardiola has not lasted a season in League 2 as Bath City have been relegated by four points. It is heartbreaking stuff. Kind of expected, but still heartbreaking. And while we're here, we can look at the failures. Bloody Arteta, 13th again. Shocking. Just dreadful. And Klopp finished 6th again, losing in the playoffs. Useless. Jurgen and Mikel, useless. Hopefully Pep can bounce back and get to back to League 2. Otherwise, we may be going 18 season without an update again. And well, it is good news in the next season as Bath City win the playoffs to get promoted back to the Skybet League 2 after beating Rochdale on penalties in the final. And they also bet Torquay in the final of the FA Trophy on penalties as well. But unfortunately, Arteta is a mid-table Donny. 11th place again. Is he ever going to get promoted? Is it going to happen? And I mean, Jurgen Klopp, he's just not getting the playoff wins. This is the third year in a row where they have lost in the playoffs. This time getting knocked down the first round on penalties. Pep Guardiola is cooking these frauds as he now sits on three league promotion, two league wins, and two cups. He is by far the best manager so far. And he's still, look at the net spend. He's only spent 195000 and sold 825000 in his career for Bath City. He's doing it without spending too much. Well, Bath City, for their second season ever in Skybet League 2, had a great season, finishing in 11th, completely clear of the relegation. We're only about four points off a playoff spot. So potentially next season, Pep Guardiola may lead them into a playoff. But unfortunately, again, Arteta just sitting mid-table, proceeding to do nothing. And in true Jurgen Klopp fashion, they lost again in the playoffs. This time you can blame Sam Kirsch for getting sent off in the 12th minute, but that's four seasons in a row for Jurgen Klopp to be knocked out in the playoffs. I don't remember the last time Arteta even made a playoff. And Pep Guardiola's mid-table in Skybet League 2. This isn't even a competition. Well, Pep Guardiola has done the unthinkable again and led Bath City to another promotion as they finish in fifth, only two points off the automatic spot. But they ended up getting the job done, beating Oxford United 3-2 in the final to make it to Skybeck League 2. And now we are in 2042, so there's been a few years gone by. And Mikel Arteta is still mid-table. This guy is just ass. I'm going to say it how it is. How many seasons is that just sitting 10th to 15th? Believe it or not, it has been nine years in a row that Mikel Arteta has finished between 10th and 14th. He is just the definition of a mid-table Donny. Simple as that. He can't do any better. He hasn't finished higher than 10th since 2030-2031 season, which was 11 years ago.
And Jurgen Klopp, well, he isn't exactly doing Mikel Arteta levels, but Jesus Christ, man. Get a promotion. Again, he has finished just off the title. And that makes it eight seasons in a row where he's lost in the playoffs. This time losing in the semi-final 2-1 after bottling it against Gillingham. Man, oh man. Jurgen Klopp, can you get promoted? Oh my lord. And now that means that Pep Guardiola is three divisions above Arteta and Jurgen Klopp. Jurgen Klopp and Pep Guardiola got promoted at the same time. And ever since then, it has just been a climb upwards in the leagues for Pep Guardiola and Jurgen Klopp just staying in Vanarama myself. I mean, if he's happy there, I can't complain. I swear to God, if Jurgen Klopp loses any more playoffs, I'm going to be fuming. The PC's going out the window. Just get promoted. And Mikel Arteta, do something! And some unfortunate news, a few years after Pep Guardiola's triumph in League 2, he has finally got his first relegation on his career at Bath City, as they get relegated with a shockingly bad total of 28 points. But they had three very good seasons in League 1, finishing 10th in their first season, 7th in their second, only two points off a playoff place, and then finishing 10th, and unfortunately, they've completely collapsed. But I have full faith and Pep's abilities to get them back up. No issue. But I do not have faith in the other two bloody bastards' abilities because now Arteta's getting worse. They're sliding down the table. And in one of the seasons, they did finish 20th and they nearly got relegated. They were three points above the relegation zone, but they are just awful. And while Jurgen Klopp isn't doing much better as they're finished 14th for this season... But after their second place finished four seasons ago, it has not been good under Jurgen Klopp. Finishing 15th, 12th, 10th, and now 14th. No playoff places for four seasons after their remarkable run of finishing in the playoffs eight times and losing eight times. It was an incredible run. And now they're just sort of mid-table. And a few years later, miracles do happen. Mikel Arteta has finally done it. They finished in third in the Van Arama National League North and managed to beat Hereford FC 2-1 in the playoff final to finally get promoted for the first time. It's only taken Arteta 25 years. And in terms of Jurgen Klopp, it is just mid-table obscurity at the moment. He just needed to get that playoff win in one of the nine seasons he had. And he just couldn't do it. And now, they just sit at mid-table. But the good news is, for Bath City, they did not get a double relegation. So they're just sitting in Skybet League 2. Two mid-table finishes in a row. And hopefully, in a season or two, they can start to climb the table again. I mean, Arteta... He's only one division away now. Can he become a rival to Pep Guardiola? I mean, Jurgen's not done anything. Arteta's finally done something after 25 years. Can we finally get a bit of competition? And only a year later, unfortunately, Bath City do finish fifth. But they did lose the playoff final after taking the lead against Walsall. Fall to a 2-1 defeat as they have to stay in League 2 again. But unfortunately, Arteta provided probably one of the worst seasons on record for the Vanarama National League. I'm actually going to check it really quick. So after searching it online, he didn't break the record for the worst points tally. Because apparently, 10 points by Hyde United in 2013-14 was the worst in history. Which is absolutely tragic for 46 games. They didn't do much better. 19 points, only 3 wins this season Shocking performance from Macau But at least he got promoted I mean, hopefully they can bounce back But Jurgen Klopp, finished 11th um, He's finished, washed And now it has taken Pep Guardiola 7 seasons Since his relegation from League 1 But they are back As they finished 4th in the league But won the playoffs Beating Leon Orient in the final 2-1 after taking a 2-0 lead within 10 minutes. It was an excellent start at Wembley. But they are back. And hopefully this time they can stay up. And now last time we did talk about this club. Mikel Arteta's men, they had been relegated from the National League. And since then, it's just been back to their old ways. As they finished 11th this season. But they finished 17th following their relegation. Then 16th, then 12th. Are they doing a bit of a rebuild now? A climb of the table? Potential promotion? Probably not. And Jurgen Klopp's men, just 9th. <laughs> they did have a playoff loss, as usual. <laughs> 
in 2049-50, but then they went back to 11th and 8th. Will we see Jurgen Klopp ever get promoted again? His luck just isn't that great in playoffs. He has to win the league. And are Welling good enough? I'm not sure. Unfortunately, only a few seasons after getting promoted, Pep Guardiola's Bath City do get relegated. But they did actually have a good start. They finished in 19th. Then they finished all the way in 9th, only just off a playoff spot. And now they're back down to League 2. And in terms of Mikel Arteta, they finished in third this year, was probably their highest finish. But unfortunately losing in the playoffs, and that's two years running the Boston playoffs, they finished sixth last season. And Welling had a awful season, finishing all the way down in 17th. But it's not a surprise, they lost another playoff match, and it just never ends for them as they finished fifth two seasons ago. Considering we're now in 2056, it has been 33 years into this. We've only got 17 years left, and Pep Guardiola is the only person who isn't still in the Vanarama National Leagues. It looks as though, really, unless some miracle happens by Mikel Arteta or Jurgen Klopp, that Pep's comfortably won this. I mean, I didn't expect anyone to do anything too ridiculous, like into the Premier League or sort of becoming a top six club or anything outrageous like that. But Pep Guardiola has basically revolutionized Bath City, while Jurgen Klopp and Mikel Arteta have sort of not. And well, they're back. They're straight back to Skybeck League 2 is Bath City. Pep Guardiola's men as they finish in second. Seven points off the top, but it doesn't matter. They get promoted, which is brilliant. They're back in League 1, and hopefully they can stay there a little bit longer than three seasons. And in terms of these two bloody failures... We'll call them failures. We'll say how it is. Failures. Arteta finishes in 16th. He finished third last season. And now he's 16th. Brilliant. And Klopp finishing mid-table. No playoff for him. Man, this is just... It's a sad experiment at this point. And unfortunately, I bring bad news. Bath City have been relegated by one point. And it's unfortunate... Because two seasons ago, they were one match away, 90 minutes away from making the championship. But unfortunately lost to Wrexham in the playoff final. And two years later, they're back to League 2. And Arteta is back to mid-table. 13th place finish. And it's just been the same as always. It's been a very disappointing experiment from Mikel Arteta and Jurgen Klopp. That is for certain. As Welling finish 4th and lose another playoff... <laughs> <laughs> another one I I have to see at the end of this 50 years how many playoffs he's lost because that makes it two seasons in a row they finished sixth last year and lost in the playoffs again so that's another two seasons of playoffs lost from Jurgen Klopp unfortunately I bring very bad news for the first time in 28 years, Pep Guardiola's Bath City are back in the National League after they finished 24th with only 31 points. It is heartbreaking to see Pep Guardiola was so close to making the championship, losing the playoff final a few years ago, and now they're in the National League. And well, unfortunately for Mikel Arteta, they finish in 5th. But lose out in the first round, losing 2-1 to FC United, which means there's another year in the Vanarama National League North for Mikel Arteta. And it is similar viewing for Jurgen Klopp's Welling, finishing ninth, but again, just not close to getting promoted. No playoff this season, so they didn't lose that, which is a positive, I guess. So now there's only one league separating Pep Guardiola and the other two managers, maybe with only nine seasons left of this 50-season experiment. Can someone finally surpass Pep Guardiola for the first time? Seven years after Bath's relegation, finally something important has happened. And as you can see, Welling finished second, but finally won a playoff match, winning in the 96th minute in extra time to beat Sutton United 2-1. And finally, Welling United have been promoted. Jurgen Klopp has done it. And it has been a bloody long time. It has taken 45 years to make it back to the National League. They made it in 26-27 season. It is now 2071. It has taken an unbelievable amount of time. But Jurgen Klopp has finally done it. In terms of Mikel Arteta, he is pretty unlucky. Looks like it was a pretty tight run league at the top. He lost in playoffs to Cheltenham Town, losing 1-0. 
And he has had a few playoff matches, finishing fifth in 2063, finishing third in 2066. But yet again, Mikel Arteta only has one promotion to his name. And just as Jurgen Klopp enters the National League, Pep Guardiola says, see ya. I'm going back to Skybet League 2 as they win the title by 11 points comfortably. It took them seven years to make it back to the fourth tier of English football, but they are back. But we only have two more years of the 50 years experiment. Let's see if Jurgen Klopp can actually stay in the National League. And let's see if maybe Pep Guardiola can pull out another promotion. Well, the party didn't last long for Jurgen Klopp. They finished dead last. They got seven wins this season, 34 points, and they're back to where they bloody belong in the Vanarama National League South. Arteta finished mid-table, as usual. Brilliant performance from Mikel. And, I mean, shit. Pep Guardiola nearly did it. Unfortunately, they do finish fifth and lose the playoffs on penalties after conceding a 119th minute penalty, then losing on penalties. That is heartbreaking stuff for Pep Guardiola. He nearly did greatness. He nearly did back-to-back -back promotions, but it wasn't meant to be. And we've got one year left. Can Pep Guardiola get promoted to League One and finish the 50 years in League One? In the final season, can Mikel Arteta get only his second promotion in 50 years? And can Jurgen Klopp jump straight back into National League to complete three promotions? Compared to Pep Guardiola, these two are a disgrace, but they have one more year to make somewhat of a redemption. Now, as the final season has come to a close, Welling have actually done it. They finished on 99 points, finished third, and bet Borehamwood 2-0 in the playoff final. But unfortunately, they lost 3-2 in extra time to Cheltenham Town, conceding an 87th minute goal to deny them a oh, Well, it's not a double, but a promotion and a trophy. And Mikel Arteta did nothing interesting in this final season, finishing 10th. And unfortunately, Pep Guardiola couldn't do it as he finished in 11th with no promotion to League One. So that is 50 years in the future. And it's safe to say Pep Guardiola succeeded the most. Now, as we look at Jurgen Klopp's statistics, obviously it has been 50 years. He's played 2,669 matches. Well, he hasn't played, he's managed that many. 46% win rate. I mean, it's not a surprise considering he played in playoffs basically every season he was in the South and lost all the time. Three promotions, two relegations, but if we sieve another season, I bet you they get relegated. So it's probably going to be 3-3. But in terms of money spent, he's brought 433 players for the value of 70,000 and sold 258 for the value of 250k. So net spend is good, as usual from Jurgen Klopp. If we look at Mikel Arteta, his win percentage is 42%. Obviously, one promotion, one relegation in 50 years isn't exactly good. He didn't spend one penny. That is interesting. He did not spend a pound on any players. Signed 419 and sold 190 for the value of 225000 The fact he did not spend a penny is actually quite impressive. I actually forgot to check, but he's won 17 awards. So he's won a few Vanarama National League North Manager of the Years. He's won about four in the last five years, which is impressive. Jurgen Klopp won 23, though, so he is just better. And now as we look at the GOAT, he is him. Only a 40% win rate, the worst out of all three managers. But those seven league promotions, three league wins and two cup wins are far superior than the other two. And if you look at his signings, he made 343 signings, 5.25 million spent, but sold 15.5 million worth of players of 158 sold and won 28 awards. So that is that. We have finished the 50 years and Pep Guardiola proves the haters wrong as he is comfortably. He won it within the first 10 years. The other managers didn't even need to bother managing for 50 years. They couldn't do what he did in 10. A disgrace from Arteta and Klopp that Pep Guardiola is the winner. But in reality, Pep Guardiola obviously did the best by a mile. He got up to League One, nearly got to the championship, was so close to breaking into that. But Jurgen and Arteta, four promotions between them for 100 years between them in South and North is unacceptable. So we've figured out who the best manager is, and that is Pep Guardiola. I hope you all enjoyed, like Scrover did. Obviously, a lot of things could have changed. There's a lot of things you can edit. Could have maybe given them some money, maybe started them off as a professional club. Maybe could have made the board more ambitious, more willing to spend money, more willing to invest, maybe in the youth academy, whether they're training facilities, whether that would be in signing players. There's a lot of things you could change that would definitely change it. We, it potentially could be that Bath City are more ambitious than the other two, or it could 
could be Pep Guardiola's just by far the better manager. There's a lot of if buts and maybes in this, but for now, Pep Guardiola is the winner. But I hope you all enjoyed. Comment down below any ideas you want me to do. I'm pretty happy to do basically anything. And I'll see you boys in the next video. There'll be plenty more of this FM experiments to come.